I finally pulled over. Let's get rid of this stupid noise. So you guys remember this? This is a lot of some of these videos are just for people that are following me because so they've really been they're all through here. I just want to make it clear. It's so important to know about. Remember what I do. It's not to. I mean, it is a little bit to help you prove it, but it's it's more just to let you know. Like, I, it's important to know that this, like, because it's, look, it, your overall knowledge in this is is what carries you. So what they know, they seem to know exactly what you know. It's a crazy thing. So the more you know, the easier it is. Take this from me. It's very simple. I think it applies to everything in the world. <laughs> like, I didn't just make it up, but I was thinking, I'm like, you know, that makes sense because the more you know about surfboarding, the better you probably get at it, right? It's the same thing. And then the, I've been watching this, and then they made this tree all wacky. Look at it. This just happened, like, over the last month. Right, here, right there. It's all, remember, the teepees and stuff, like, people, it was a, even for, like, you know, people that are just getting the subject, like, they still think there's, it's, there's nothing wrong with you, because we all thought the same thing, but you're still thinking in simple terms, like... I guess they, it's how do they sleep in there? You know, it's like, it's, they're not, it's, it's a, it's a system. It's, it's set up to, to, to enable so they can like engage the, the other system that's connected to it. Like it's all, look, and you can see that the components, it's always the same. There's a TP structure, always. There's um, an X or multiple, always. There, you'll see a break, always. You'll see a, a triangle always it'll be there'll be a rock involved or some sort of quartz things like that so if there's always the same combination of, element, of elements that's why i tell you guys they they're it's this is the one thing that they, they are universally taught exactly is how to exist here without us knowing about it um it's a it's a really amazing thing remember i didn't ask for this okay that's why i think i'm good for it like i'm the type i thought originally i was the type of guy maybe you guys view me a different way i don't know like I wasn't this this overweight Harley guy with a big beard that said Bigfoot was real and I was drunk off my motorcycle hitting a stick against a tree. I'm a guy that would be like you guys, like, what are you, crazy? These people are nuts. It's these these conspiracy people, you know, I'm from New Jersey, so when it happens to, to, you know, someone like me, I mean, I guess I've always been in touch a little bit, right? There's, I've, my whole life something's been going on. But, you know, I could easily, I could have won either way. You could have, I've been, you know, I was... In, when you're in mainstream, it, it conditions you. You're, you're all conditioned. Every one of us have, have been conditioned to live in this earth. And I, why people can't see this, that's the one thing. I just want you to see it. I think all of you do. You can just, Like, can't you see <laughs> the platform that we've been, like, that we've been put on? Like, you can just see it so they they've given me i think it's through them i have this point of view of us and it's just it's crazy comical like in a way it's it's also terrible um it's also great you know it just depends on how you view things it's because it, it one of the biggest things is people don't know you know what they're missing so that's i think that's a big deal you don't really want to tell them um, you know, at this point, is, do you want to rock the cradle? So the, the big question is, Mark, okay, let's just, we're all on board with you. Let's just say everyone in the world believes Mark Abel, this idiot, we all believe him now. And, you know, what, what, hold on a second. All right, sorry, Mark Abel, we all believe, right, what was I saying? I got a text that distracted me. I'm so curious about right there. I actually want to show you some stuff. You know what? Let's stop at the river down here. They, they come. It's not a huge thing that I can tell, but they're they're always around or going past it. They come. They're like they're because they're all in this and they're all in here. And then I see. I've been seeing all these new spots like in a tree like that. That's one of them right there. Inside is all gutted and like trampled and has seats and X's and tridents. I don't know if it was new when I first noticed it like a year ago. I, I'm not sure. It's hard sometimes. Like, I'm like, that's new. That I think I'm right most of the time. But, like, in some conditions like this, or situations like this, I don't know if it, it just began or it's always been. But I've been noticing them in here. I think a lot of it comes with your knowledge. You just didn't know, you know. That's, that's the one that they don't do it in. That's the one that has nothing. And, it, you know, it, it makes sense because there's not, there's no... 
surroundings when you look in the bushes in front of that it's a remarkable thing you know and that's like I tell people just do the math like I t everything I say is in layman terms because I don't want anyone to be lost and I mostly because I don't have that many words <laughs> and I do actually but when I, t I have a way I speak I can throw big words in but I don't like to because it's just not me I'm a simple guy. I don't. I don't want to pretend like I'm. So I, yeah, I'm. A, I'm my knowledge. My, I'm a little bit smarter than I sound. <laughs> not much. Like I'm not saying I'm really smart or anything. Just a little bit more than you might think. <laughs> you can bet on that. I don't know if it's smart. It's. Uh, I don't think that's the word. I don't know what word I'm looking for. It's like. Uh, <laughs> it's hard. I need a word. To stop there. Here, uh, you know what? Oh, down here is even better. Give me a sec. Oh, someone's there. What's this guy doing in my spot? Actually, I didn't want to stop there. Even though there is a trident right across, leaning into the water. There was a fire here. I love looking at where. I don't wish any fires, but I love to see. Here, let's get. We're gonna pull over. Give me some. All right, so one advantage of doing this as your job for a long time is you know the best places. <laughs> well, in other words, like if I look at this, this is an amazing place, right? I like this kind of place because even if you're not like fully on board, you might appreciate that, like the view. So I try to do that when I can. Like, look, this guy's crazy, but I love what he zooms on. That's fine too, like, because you, you'll catch on. You cannot watch me and not believe. So there's, there's no one in the world that has ever watched what I've done and not believed, if they watched enough. So some people are just miserable. They'll sign up for one second and they get up. They, it makes them angry or whatever. But if you watched me, if, I, if you were put into a room and the door was locked and you, had, and you were forced to watch all my videos, you would come out smarter than me on the subject. You would have no choice. You would believe it at 100%. So that's why I have 100%. And then people that have checked, you know, have gone out and checked and done this end up getting better or as good or better stuff than I do. Every single one. If it, you, I'm telling you, if you have this inkling to do this, it's probably them nearby you. Because it's you guys are all the people. Think about it. You're the one person from where you live. Every single one of you I'm talking to right now are the one person from where you live. Maybe two. And that's it. Okay, so you're special. You don't realize it. They want you to go say hello, and it's going to happen. Something will happen. Now, it's hard for me to promise because I don't know where you live and what your situation is. Some, you know, some are, I'm in, I'm in a million of them and, well, hundreds of them, and each one seems to be slightly different. I think, I think it's a personality. I think you, it comes down to... You know, it, the best way to, the best analogy would be a neighborhood. You know, it's, it comes down to your neighborhood. Like, oh, I hate that neighborhood. It's so mean. It's like, and then you go to another one. Everyone's so nice. If I, I think it's very comparable. Give me a sec. Let's just check. I figured I haven't been here in a long time. I be, I go right by, but like stop to look. Because this is all theirs right here. They come right out of this, down to this river. If you don't believe, just look. <laughs> like it's, it's that good. Galaxy 23 Ultra. Where's Robin? Robin, they help me with the camera. Can you text me? I don't like when she's not gone for two years at a time. She's still there sometimes because I, I text her, but like I have not heard from. She's like I'm still here. I'm like I don't. I like when people check in because you know she really helped me. If you help me like that, and I just want to know you're still there. That's all. I just want to know that I haven't lost you. chilly it's it's beautiful today but chilly it's 38 right here but it's also early so it should be a beautiful nice day today look at this place i don't think i'm showing anything except just sightseeing with you but you'll see one of the things they do so that's a trident okay and they they, they lean them out to the water it's just look at your water and you'll see it okay here's one that's touching they like to t they like it to touch it does something it's not if they don't do it for for looks it's some kind of like low kinetic energy I'm not sure they can harness this energy there I think there's an app for that 
so instead of like magic and technology, it's what I say sometimes. Ooh, hold on a second, I'm cold. <laughs> I'm like, there's a, there's an, there's just an app for that. Is all. I, kind of, I felt like, kind of felt like going to look at these like boulders. Like, how did those boulders get there a long time ago? This has all been. From, this is a result of a fire in the middle here. I think I showed you. It happened like the beginning of the summer. Let's see what the fire looks like. It's not that exciting, but sometimes people like to see where no one else can see. Like, there's a spool of wire that looks like it had, it burnt up and had been there for. <laughs> A long time. So one of the things I'm fascinated with, I'm not sure what it is, but like if you to walk through where no one has seen in a long time, you know, that's been really overgrown for since the beginning of time, really. It's never been affected by humans a little bit because of the highways and stuff, but it, not really. It was always like this. So it's nice to, you know, kind of see what's in there. I wouldn't mind taking a walk. You know, can you find like an old silver dollar or is there probably it wouldn't be a bad place to take a metal detector. Uh, along highways, believe it or not, you know why? Because I like I lost my wedding ring once when I was married. It was too big, and I'd go like this with it because I was so big. And one time I was at my window and I was I was messing with it, and it literally just goes right off my finger. It goes dink, and I watch. I literally watched it. It, it went faster than my car for a second. It, like it, it bounced, it went dink, and it went. <laughs> I was like, bye. I didn't even slow down. There was I knew there was no way I could never. It went into like, the woods. I was going like 50 miles an hour. So I lost, it was only an $80 or something. Like I think I spent, I'll tell you, I think I spent, this is a lot of money back then. I spent five grand on her on her engagement ring. That's a cash. Well, no, actually, you wanna know what happened? Let me tell you a little secret. Did she know that? Maybe eventually. I So I had the cash in my pocket. She had no idea I was gonna ask her to marry me. And, uh, well, I don't mean not much, and I, I go to the jewelry store. I think I was with a friend of mine. And I go to the jewelry store and, uh, in this mall. And I, she's like, you know, we have great financing. Like, zero down. I was like, really? Or no, she said, I wasn't even considering finance. But she's like, we have, like, zero down. And, you know, so I was like, all right. Because I'm thinking I got five five k in my front pocket. They're going to give me zero down. The payments are, like, 140 a month or something like that. And I was like, I hold on. I can pay 140 a month and keep my five grand. Let's do it. So that's what I did. <laughs> I financed the wedding ring. But not because I didn't have the money. You know, it was one thing if I... I mean, I don't think it really matters if you finance your... I mean, look, the, the point is you got her the ring, right? Financing something doesn't, isn't... It's just easier that day. If anything, give the guy more credit. He, he was... He spent money he didn't have because he loves you. You got to stop living your, 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 your life through the way you think like, like, the, like society wants you to. Like, oh, he couldn't even pay for the ring. And da, 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 da. I saw an interesting video about women... Like, would you date a garbage man? They're like, absolutely not. It's like, why? We, we don't put those restrictions on you. I thought that was really interesting about, like, you know, certain women really are gold diggers. Like, they have a whole thing. Like, they, they're not going to date you unless you're successful. All of this crap. That's not what life is about. Trying to make your life easier for free. And using people's heart to do that. Love was meant, I'm telling you, it's that's one of the reasons you're here. And I think it's meant to go. So let me tell you, these these things that you see like that are meant to happen. They were meant to happen to these people. It's because it's about, you're learning about love. So learning about love doesn't always mean it's great. You, you might learn about love on the opposite end of it. You might get the S-H-I-T-T end of it, Y end of it. <laughs> hey, let's see if we can zoom up. Can we do that? So I say a lot, like I wasn't planning on doing a video, but as I'm driving to these long places, I just can't, my thoughts just cannot be confined to myself. So I start doing these. I don't ever think this is supposed to be a video, but I have a lot of people that are, that, that will watch it. You know, if it's just like 20 people, 50 people to me, that's a lot of people. I care about every single one of you. I'm talking to my Patreon members. Every single one of you. And by the way, every one of you is welcome. There's no... I don't have tears. All my intro videos are stupid. Because I just did it and I forgot and I never went back. That like my members videos. I, I don't even know what I said. I, I just realized I had one. It's like, hi, members videos, guys. Like, I, whatever. So all of that's dumb. You guys see it through all that. You know what I'm doing. And I just really, really am grateful and thankful to you. You watch me unshowered and shaved on some days. Man, do I need a shower. Well, like, I... I could take one, but it's just like, I didn't take one today because it's just like, I can't deal with getting, I have to get the hose out, 
propane tank. You know, I can take a shower in my shower, but it's it's come down to where it's it's not worth the risk to fix it because one night everything could blow up again. Like you could spend five grand to have things fixed that I, oh I don't have that but like thousands of dollars, and then one good freeze could could ruin it all. So I've I've realized that I'm better off not having that. Getting a hotel once a month for a hundred bucks, you know, get something like that. And then I have that. I have this propane shower that works really well, but what a pain in the butt. And, you know, if it's under, if it's below freezing, you probably don't want to use the hose too much. So that's about it, you guys. Give me a sec. So trout fishermen. So you guys, this golf and golfers. This golf course, from don't quote me from my, what I understand is I think, I think it's three hundred thousand a year. It's not even that big of a deal like you get to go over this covered bridge. oh let me show you the covered bridge people love covered bridges so there's your covered bridge there's a gate you can't even go over the covered bridge unless you remember and uh the, so but the more interesting thing to me is the river so this river is this the equin the, this is the uh, um, equinox river i forget what river this is it's but the the trout fishing here is outstanding it's uh like these famous people come here, right? Well, they'll park their car from Vail and, and go fishing. You see him sometimes. It's like, I, I think that it was like, he was a famous movie producer. He, the guy's got more money than the actors do. Like this guy's so rich. And when, when he's out there, one time he had two girls with him. I mean, you could tell he bought, he, you guys, he bought for that day, like his girlfriend, I think it was her friend that was with her that one, the other time. He literally bought her. So he must have spent, I'm not kidding, thousands of dollars just on her for the day. So she was fully outfitted. She got, she had like, you know, a brand new fishing pole. The, you know, the most expensive fly fishing outfit for a woman you've ever seen. She had it all. She had, and you could just tell it was all brand new. Like he just went and had her outfitted, you know, cause he's so rich. It doesn't even, and I'm not knocking him. So would I, like what I've, well, if, not really. Cause if, if I'm that wealthy, I wouldn't be that wealthy. I, I, I refuse to be. I would never, ever just sit on my... I would give... All I would do would be help people. Yeah, that would be... I'm not, I'm not donating to charity. I want to help individually, individual people. That, that's what I want, like, on my own. Like, oh my God, that person. Oh, I, I missed the best fly fishing shot. Fishing. It's something I've always wanted to do. It's something I do now. People are like, oh, he's full of shit. Really, because I'm a director of a non-profit foundation. And all we do is change people's lives. And I'm one of the bosses of it. So I do that for out of the kindness of my heart. So if you think that I don't enjoy helping people, again, you're a moron, okay? Oh, yeah, I'm talking to my members. Never mind. I'm not sure. Sometimes I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I might just put it up on YouTube for five minutes or, or the day, or I might just put it for my members. It's kind of sightseeing is what it really is. Ooh, there's a rock. Look at that rock. Did you see it? They're right. That's where I got Frozen Avatar, right up there. He's right there. I can see right where that pickup truck is. All you have to zoom is you need to zoom up there. And they're always there. Right up here. Right up there. And this is where I went in. I filmed the abandoned campsite. I park here. Any of you can do it. I don't hide anything. You can go go in there yourself and you'll be standing all around these creatures. All you have to do is walk up that ravine. So that's that at, when I first started shocking people with this, it happened. Be like, oh this guy's full of I'll be like, all right, go in there. You know, some guy was up here. He's like, I'm a skeptic and I wanna prove me wrong. I was like, well, maybe I shouldn't give you anything. I told the guy, I was like, all right, go, go here, go there. You'll see a, a stop sign. There's a little trail to the left. Walk in there. This is like six years ago. Some ass Ahola guy. And I tur it completely turned him around. I never heard from him. I didn't hear from him for like two days. And so I'm like, okay, whatever. I, I forgot completely about it. And then he messaged me. He's like, I was trying to message you from there. I couldn't, I didn't have reception that I can't believe I'm so sorry I, when I was in there that it was the most incredible feelings I had ever had and I was da, 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 da. it's like look man I, I told you this I'm getting tired of people not trusting me okay that's the thing I'm like I understand the world but I, I'm different than most people and I've been out there doing this for a long time I'm very tired of being a salesman I want to e embrace this not have to prove it to every imbecile that believes their news channel. You know what I'm saying? And I, when I say imbecile, I mean that with love. Uh, all of my insults, anytime I use a word, it literally is that. 
You can believe it or not. It's it's a it's an, a term of endearment. You idiot is a term of endearment. <laughs> it really is. It's, is it appropriate? No, not really. But it doesn't mean I don't. It, it doesn't mean I ha I don't have any respect for you. It means the, it really does. It means that I care. So that's. I think you should look at people more that a little bit that way. Not everyone, but some people. They, they, most of what they say is love. We we've been conditioned this way to say f. Well, the f you then. Or da 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 da. You know, it's like you're only saying that because he really cares. <laughs> it's a, we just learned. We 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 unlearned how to communicate. Is is what happened. Give me a sec. All right, you guys have a great day. Here's here's what a Saturday, kind of an overcast, yucky Saturday. It's not too yucky, uh, but it is. There is a lot of white clouds on a Saturday morning. At a, this is a real off time. In used to be nobody. Like, you wouldn't see hardly any cars. Now it's we're overrun with people. People that really don't know how to navigate. Some of them don't know how to navigate the mountains at all. Rear wheel drive car, like it's just out of nowhere. All I don't know how they can afford to be here. I don't know. It's a crazy thing. There's Vale. So it's just what it looks like on a Saturday this time of year where, you know, no one's skiing yet. Um, it's not warm enough. So it's not cold enough. It's not warm enough. It's kind of right in between ski season and Christmas. It's kind of blah, you know. For me, for me, it's the best time there is. It's, it's look, I used to keep them within our realm. So our four seasons, our everything. Don't be surprised thing they do has nothing to do with us. There is no such thing as a season. There's no day. There's not 365 days. There's not anything like, so that remember that is our schedule. Okay. I'm not saying they don't have one, but it's, it, it's very possible that it's different and time a little bit as well. Remember time is something that we have constructed. Well, it's not really, but yeah, in a way we've harnessed time so we can I can know to be at your house next week if we had an appointment or, but just, just keep in mind that our time, well, I don't want to say too much about time because I don't understand like enough of it, but just keep in mind that it might not be exactly what, how we interpret it. I think it's important. Yeah, is my seat hot? Yeah, that's the message for this video. Time is, it may not be exactly what we, we all think of it excuse me, of the same thing, but it might not be exactly what we've been told. It's a very confusing thing. There may be able, there may be people, oh, let me finish what I was saying. This is important about time travel. I mentioned it recently and I, I, I forgot what I was saying. So time travel, I believe is, is happening. Let me, let me clarify for you. So any, there's some people that probably haven't even thought about this yet. And I don't want you to if it's not something you're interested in. But it's, it is important to kind of log in the back of your head. Remember what I told you. It, uh, things that are hard to believe are actually the truth. So the, the time travel is absolutely a thing. I just haven't figured out. I haven't. Because I, I have ways of looking into these things. Okay? Um, that you most people can't. So, But let me, let me explain where I'm at in it. I believe I know. I'm very aware of a secret program. So let, let me just tell you what I know for sh that's a fact is, of time travel. Now, whether, they're, whether they have physically sent a human somewhere where you can go back with George Washington, I don't know if that's... That seems a little bit crazy to me. Like, that's a little bit, like... Cra is it not possible? I don't know. But it, I don't think... So what it looks like to me... There, you know, you guys have heard of Project Looking Glass... I think time travel, for sure at least, so far has been that, that exactly. A looking glass. It's, it's a way to look, not actually physically be there. Now, do I know this for sure? Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know, like, so, so you see these, there's amazingly interesting photos going around of big people of, you know, Trump time, 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 because the one, here's one of the interesting things. It all fits together. You'll see all of the, every single famous person, like real famous person has someone that's identical to them in the past. Have you guys seen these? Some of them are extremely interesting. We're talking about Jay-Z all the way to Donald Trump. Every single one of them. There's not Photoshop. It's not CGI. These are real photos. So something is interesting there. Is there vampires? Is there... You know, it's possible. It's, uh, 
remember the terms that these guys have been named are they're psychological they're they're literally deemed to make you not believe because they were put into a storybook so if you hear the word vampire you're probably not going to believe it. If you hear mermaid, you're probably not going to believe it. If you hear Bigfoot, you're probably, you know, it's not that you won't believe it. You're just going to, it's been made into a joke. So you're, you're, it's been done on purpose to you, trust me. So all of this, the way you think, it's basically in a general way, the same as we all think about it. It's been done on purpose. It's all real. So my answer is time travel. Can someone physically time travel in this day and age? Yeah, because it's not... Well, I don't know. But it's if, if the answer is yes, it's because it's not this day and age. That's... The, you're, it's only for us. It's this... We've been... Don't look at it as necessarily bad either. I'm really wondering if some of our... Like, our, our not knowing is for the greater good. It's it's so... Other people are, are, are handling this. Don't worry about it. You You just go work. Give us half of your money. A lot of it's about that. Think about that. The, the scam of taxes is crazy, um, and we'll take care of it. And, and you and you can just enjoy your life. If you do well, if you hit this system well that we have developed for you, yes, it's a little bit effed, but and dishonest. But you will have a happy life. All you have to do is go to school, get 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 a really good job, and have enough money, and you will be happy in this life. So it's one way to look at things. If you know, if you, in other words, if you're a millionaire, if you're one percent of this of all people, which is hardly anybody, then yeah, you you know what, you might be way happier living in this facade of just ridiculousness. You can get a yacht, you can get attention, you can get anything you do. People are want to be a part of you. So, li- how what is living that life versus knowing? I don't know. You, if, would you take that life versus knowing your God? That's one way to look at it. Look at that. Oh, man. Look at that amazing tree. Did you guys see that? Oh, my God. I wish I could have zoomed in on that. Is this a video? What do I do with this long video? It's 27 minutes long. <laughs> of monotony. Well, I don't know. I think people like to see. I, li- I like to see other places. Like some, So some guys driving through, like, over the train tracks in Chicago. I want to see it. So I think that's a good analogy. So sometimes people are watching me just for that. Like he's, they probably mute me. It's like I know there's people that do that. There's a few people that are they're, they're expert timestamp people, and they just mute me, and they just because they know that I'm, that I'm the best there is as far because that's what you should do. I don't expect you to listen to me. You, you really, sh- I mean, if you do, you're smart because I, I'm, I know it's it's hard sometimes, but like you're getting incredible information from me. I'm telling you. I don't know about this video, but in, in some other one. But the p- other people, I, I understand that too, and I respect it. Because they're doing their job. The, the guy's all over this. He's He knows that there is no camera on Earth that is in a better place. And so the and, and girls, I'm not saying, when I say he, I mean she too. And the, some of these time stampers aren't listening to me. Well, they, they do sometimes, but most of their work, they're, they're not. They have, they're taught, they're, they're, do, they're studying the the video, the landscape, the things that other people, regular people can't see and don't know how to do. (laughs) I have the best timestamp people in the free world. Okay. So don't just look at me, people around me, because I'm me because of them. Okay. There is no me by myself. It's impossible. It's well, maybe I could fake it now, but to have gotten to this point without these guys, it's impossible. And I don't even think I could, I mean, Maybe because of because they got me here to this point, I could fake it, but never. Like if he gave me ten million dollars, yeah. But like, I could never have gotten. No one either could anybody else in the world that has done anything could have done anything without the support of all the people around them. I know this is cliche stuff, but it's true. Like you don't, you know what it is? We don't realize anything until we do it ourselves. That's what it is. Over now, have a great day. Look where I am. Back to. I got. I got to wait in probably like a forty-five minute line. You guys, I got to talk to you about. Look, I. I just don't send me. There's an address. If you ever want to send me a box, there's an address for my house. But this is the last time I'm coming to my post office for any kind of a box, because it's going to take me. It's. It's. It literally going to take. It took me 45 minutes to get here. It's going to take me over an hour in line 
just to get handed one box. And I can't do it anymore with these psych these psychotic post office people. This has been done all on purpose. It was closed the other day because they only have one employee on purpose at the front desk. It's all being done to us on purpose, this. They're making you wait. They're making you get in lines. They're making it to where you can't rent an apartment. They're, they're doing all this stuff. So look, let me explain to you why. The bottom line is, guys, it's true. The rumors are true. The bottom line is they, they don't believe it. They know it for a fact that there's too many people on this earth. Okay, I agree completely. And it, you, you're just being dumb if you, if you don't agree with it. Now, I'm not saying we should get rid of them. We did this. I'm, you're one of the too many and so am I. We all are. No one is not one of the too many. So we're just as we're all just as cool or just as uncool as everyone else. So what do we do at this point? Do we just let the world implode? I'm telling you now, this world was meant never meant to have more than like 500,000 people. The whole world or a million. You think about the number twos on a daily basis, okay? There's no room because we're all huddled together. We're not spread out. People can't live on their own. I'm going to lose my mind. There's too many people, okay? So this is, they're not trying to kill you now. They cannot take care of you from 60 to 100 anymore. They want everyone dead by the time they're 60 or on their way to being. And slowly sick, absolutely go to the hospital. That's where they want you. The hospital is not there to help you. It is a business. The sooner you realize all of this, the better you'll be. I'd rather you not realize it about the hospital because... You know, that's the only hope you have. Like, you go into the hospital, like, these people don't care about you. They cannot care about you. They, I, my, my uncle's a doctor. They tell me, like, they, Mark, if we cared about anybody that came in here, we treat them like they're pieces of paper. If we, if we cared about anyone, we would, we would have break, we would literally melt down and, and have breakdowns because we watch people die every day. So we, we intentionally don't care about you. That's, they, believe me, I've been told this by nurses, doctors, everything they do not care they can't because they're human beings they would fall apart mentally if they emotionally got involved with every patient so you, you, the sooner you realize that every single thing in your life is a business nobody cares except your bigfoot guy what is wrong with the world then <laughs> the only person in the world that cares about you is your bigfoot guy holy sh i'm just making a joke <laughs> it might not be that far from the truth I care more about you than you could possibly... If you're involved with me in this, I, like I said the other day, so if you've helped me, then yeah, of course. But if you've just signed on, like support me that way, even if I don't haven't met you, I still care. Believe me, I have these carings put aside. There's like a thousand Karens, Karens, carings put aside subliminally for those people. I am not a normal person. I'm very aware of you. I know exactly who is there, when you guys are there, who's watching... It's believe me. I have done what I've done for a reason. Am I a psychic? No, but I have through them. I get incredible knowings and connections and like, like, just an amazing thing. So I, the basically the bottom line is yes. I I just think I'm so grateful for all of you that you would take the time just to be here. Now this I don't know. Like again, I don't know what this video is. I'm gonna upload it and then I'll decide whether to remember it or just I'm not gonna watch it. I can't watch this. Are you kidding me? So that's why some of these suck because like. Maybe he should have edited that out. I know, but I can't. I can't take the time to, to watch 33 minutes of me talking in the car. So um, that's why it's because this is real. I'm not an actor. If you want, if you want to go be entertained while someone's speaking, go watch some bullshit and get nowhere in your life. If you want to know the secrets of the earth, and I will lead you right to the gates of of heaven. Okay, everything I do. Have you not caught on yet? Everything I'm doing leads you directly to the to the feet of God Himself. What do you think about that? I'm the only one in the world that literally knows there's a path to God in this life. Why do you think there wasn't? Who told you there wasn't? The news, school, books, your parents? Who told you that you couldn't find God in this life? Who told you that? Because there's things I know that only I know. You just got to stick around. You, I mean, look, I'm about to go bankrupt here. I have no help. The only person in the world that can walk you to the feet of God himself has no help. 
Because God doesn't work like that. Well, he does because I'm still here. I'm, I've been, I'm here nine years later with the world ignoring me. Because remember, numbers are so important to remember. In, in our life, it's been, we've been, it's been important that we're millions of people have to be involved. No, that's the thing. In real truth, it will be extremely few. You guys, so few people. I get this from some, not from your books, not from your world. So few people. And I, th- I'm, I don't think I'll, I might not even be good enough. Like, but I'm getting there because I know. So it's, I'm working on it. Even work, even knowing for a fact you might not be taken because you're not doing what you're supposed to do. This is a start. What are you doing with this? Why would you do this? Why are you doing that? You're a moron. Little things like that matter. You, 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 you were, you were expected to, to, to figure all this stuff out. So I'm telling you guys now, okay. Oh, hey, Mark, I have a very spiritual connection. You can you can justify your connection with God all you want. It's not good enough. And very when I say very few people, I'm talking about numbers that would shock you in few that will move on from this life in the right direction. I'm telling you right now, you're going to get recycled somewhere and do it again until you figure it out. There's probably another world somewhere you, you could be a part of because you didn't get it. I don't know. I think you do. You're going to go through a lot. Remember, there is no such thing as reincarnation. Okay, so you're not being re- reincarnated. You live different lives. What did I tell you about? It? There's a truth to everything. So is reincarnation real? No, but there's a truth to it. Absolutely, there's a base, base truth. So you are being reincarnated. Yeah, sure. Sometimes it depends. Some people rest eternally in heaven. I think. But that might be, you know, you might that might be ten thousand lives later. You know, it's very complicated. Don't try to figure it out. Just remember that when you do see this all, it will be so far away from what you were imagining. You may, you if you were still in your body, you would go into shock. That's why. So these things that we think about are true, but the the real answers are so far removed from your thinking, you you can't process. It's your body is the prison. That's the answer. The reason that you're in prison is this body. So don't be so worried about getting out of it. Okay? Enjoy it. Make it last as long as you can. But don't be afraid of leaving it. Well, it's it's hard to be not afraid of that. I don't think people are afraid of leaving it. They're afraid of the act of it. <laughs> That's right. I don't think I'm I think I speak for most of you. I don't especially at my age and older. I don't think many of you are afraid to die at all. I think you're afraid of the act of dying. Wow, I'm smart. I just figured that out because it's me. I, I'm not. I'm not afraid. I'm so ready. I'm not. I am not afraid because I know so many things for a fact. Where most everyone else has to be on faith. I've walked among fact, and I'm trying to give this to you. Why you would ignore me is a crazy thing. So when so if you watch someone walk away, you know they're walking away literally to go to hell. Basically, it's a crazy, crazy thing. I watch these people walk away without faith. They're still self-justifying. You could hear me say that, like, "Oh, that's well, that's not true." So you're not. Da, da, da. Your brain isn't true. That's the only thing that's not true. It was never true. It's why you've never understood anything. A lot of it has to do with your parents, most likely. They just didn't get get you over that edge. If I didn't have my parents, I'd be a serial killer, murderer in prison. Maybe it's probably an exaggeration. I don't know. I mean, I could have went the other way. It's one thing I see in people. You, you, just because this great person, the only reason that's a great person is because of the events in his life that led him there. Yes, there's people that would shine no matter what. You could have put them in a, in a volcano for the first 10 years and they'd come out and run the world as this perfect person. But that's one in a trillion, these people. Everyone else was conditioned by their families, their friends, their news, their environment, and their town. Just about. Anyway, this is too much. <sighs> Just, I'm, I, this is everything I'm saying. I'm not sure what I said, but I know it's important. It just, it, they, they, I don't even, I didn't have one thing to say. It all comes from the forest. You have to interpret yourself because that nothing comes like in, in, our, in our words. Hey, I'm looking, I'm seeing. Look up just this, just this, this second. Get close to that. Where is it? That's so good up there with them. Uh, maybe not. I just saw, I saw like a triangle right there. If you held that shot long enough, you'd probably see one of them. 
you'll see something move, like a, something white, like move over there or something. That's outstanding because that's outstanding. It's one of the best forests around here. Believe it or not, right there has some of the most unbelievable structures you'll ever see in your life around uh, Beaver Creek Ski Mountain and Vail. Well, we now have a great day.